Hey, I'm Peter and this is Kevin and we're here at Live Outside and today we are talking motorized kayaks. Now there's been one motorized kayak that has been sort of the, the king of them all for the last three seasons and that is the Old Town Autopilot and here we have today an Autopilot 120. It also comes in the 136. Now flash forward now we're in 2024 there are two new players in this category uh, that we're going to talk about today and do some comparisons. We've got the Titan uh, Propel Titan X in the 10.5. Uh, it also comes in the 12. And then we have the Bonafide PWR. So three models to choose from that are power ready in this category. So today we're going to discuss, now Kevin is comes from the fishing background uh, into kayaking and I come from the kayaking background into fishing. So uh, to kind of offer two different two perspectives <laughs> on these styles of boats. Uh, but today with these three models, we're gonna be talking about first the drive systems that are available with them. We're gonna talk second about the storage options and where to store all your rigging and gear. And uh, number three is comfort. You know, that's a super important. If you're gonna be out in this style of boat, you're probably gonna be spending a lot of time on the water. So which of these three boats is the most comfortable? Uh, we're gonna talk about fishability, uh, the, the uh, transportability. So how we move these larger boats, how we get them around and then uh, fit and finish and overall value. And which one, you know, that each of us would choose. We like different ones for sure. So uh, if you like this content, uh, check us out, like and subscribe, and better yet, check out our website at liveoutside.ca and uh, check out some of our boats. We've got a big selection. So first off, we're going to talk about the drivetrain, uh, the power behind these boats, which makes them different than everything else out on the water. Um, for starters, the Old Town has the Minn Kota. This is a boat that you can just like buy off a showroom floor add a battery and get it in the water that day. That's the beauty of this sort of all concise system. Um, really 12 volt lithium battery will run this thing all day. Yeah. So 45 pound thrust, uh, two year warranty, but totally integrated into the hull, which I'm sure when they did the hull design, they in, you know took this whole incorporation of the motor Obviously, it's, it's just a clean and tidy system. Very slick um, system to pull the motor up out of the water. Very slick deployment. Easy pops out. Um, obviously, it's like in the it's mid drive. If you needed to uh, get some weeds out of here, you, will. you can pop it out and it's, it's close proximity to you. Um, it's not out on the bow. Yeah. So that's definitely something worth uh, we're speaking about on this boat and everything's plugged in. Yep. It's all ready to go. Add That's the battery, nice. battery underneath the seat. Um, That's nice. And you're on the water. This is your weight perfectly. The fact that you can get the weeds off the prop easily is a bonus as opposed to other options we're going to talk about. That's not quite as easy when you get into some weeds and it happens. Yeah, I think for, for a lot of customers, it's just the fact that there's no rigging that you have to do. Yep. You can just plug get out play. on, plug and play. It's, it's all set up for you. Yeah, grab so, your rod and you're going. Uh, like, like, so on the, on the new Titan X, so this is you know, a pretty hot boat this year. Lots of, lots of talking points on the Titan. Um, of course, you don't have to motorize the Titan, but it is preset and ready to put uh, a few drive systems that you can choose. Um, so not having proprietary drive, you have sort of options. You may already have a motor guide XI3 like that I you've come from another boat and yeah. you're going to this model. Um, but for those people who want to grow with their boat and maybe get out in a pedal drive, this is the only one in these of these three boats that already comes with a pedal drive. So you can choose to option a motor or just enjoy it as a pedal drive. When you're on the water, if you have that bow mount as somebody that has both, it's really nice to be able to pedal sometimes when you're fishing and have the big motor to scoop a long distance. It's a great option to have both. 
uh, something to certainly consider when you're on the water. Mm -hmm. So drive options on this boat, bow mounts that are available. Um, the XI3, you can do the GPS version, I think it's around 1600. 1600 bucks. Yeah, or you can do the non-GPS. Um, you had mentioned- 1050, 1050 yeah, right now. Yeah, you mentioned you have the GPS, but- I have the GPS and I probably wouldn't get it again. I wouldn't pay extra for it. It's not something I actually use the way I fish. Some people fish big water. If you're out on Georgia Bay, Lake Simcoe, open water, you'd probably use it a lot. Yeah. If you're fishing shallow, stuff like I get into, you don't need it. Right. So also you have the option on the Titan uh, of the rear. So you've got your mounting points into the hull. You can do a rear drive. Um, they do have on this boat, um, they've, they've got mounting plates uh, already into the hull to do foot controls, to do a, a foot track system and, uh, and wire it up for they really, you know, open it up to front or rear, depending on what, or both. Some people are going to do both. Some people are going to do both. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great system here for your battery, for sure. Mid, low battery is awesome. Yeah, and regardless totally. of where you put your motor, your battery here under the seat, low in the hull, is going to be a really, really nice balancing option. I also like the width on this model like it's yeah 40 inches know, wide we are, we are comparing two wide. 12 12 foot boats here to 120 yeah. um but then here i think for comparable volume the 10.5 titan um of course it also comes in the 12 um but the 10.5 titan probably width wise and and space it's is a, probably going to suit a lot of people there's a lot of space for gear junkies for sure that's lots of places to put stuff lots of room to put your rods and tackle the one thing about the sportsman you're fairly limited to having everything behind you which is not good for some people this is with a swivel seat it's going to give you the option of having easy access to what's behind you lots of room in front lots of storage in the sides under seat tray amazing cool so then bonafide pwr uh same sort of thing uh, i mean no no uh no question that native and bonafide are developed by the same company um i'm sure they have draw the same sort of inspiration but sort of have a little bit of different take on their direction but when it came to making these two models obviously uh front or rear drive was pretty important so pretty important. Uh, just like the Titan you've got that option of bow mount XI3 uh, from our rear standpoint um, here at live we are now doing the Newport uh, engine so you can get an NK 180 for either of these um, that is a 1.8 horsepower on those 180s I mean you could put a three horsepower if you really uh, the NK uh, 300 yeah 300 you can get on here they that's are 36 volt 36 but, volt so the be aware of that but yeah but the uh, 180 is a 24 volt but still the battery they they make for it is specific for it great it's not that big and again it'll run all day so yeah they're good batteries. and those uh the new ports are around 1400 i think for the rear and then 800 for battery or so uh, but yeah you can do that rear mount um Nice. These boats mount both, steering. both have a spot for your rear mount motor and shallow water anchors on both these boats. On both sides. Set up, ready to go. Yep. And they both have rudders. And they both well, have all boats. these all these boats have rudders. Really but, good rudder system. Yeah. 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 I like how the bonafide rudder tucks into the hull. So if you're not using it, it's it's totally protected um, from the hull on you know on either side. So yeah. Lots of choices on those, but of course the the sportsman um, for that person who wants to get out and just get fishing, and for the person that isn't into tinkering with their rigs so much, that's a great boat. You're ready to go. Yeah. Well, I mean, the days of drilling into your hull. I mean, these two companies have sort of they sort of they've got a solve on it. They've got these port plates 
in many different locations, which are replaceable here at the shop. You can buy it. If you mess up with your through hole wiring, um, you can always buy some extras. Yeah. Um, so uh, that intimidation factor of drilling through your hull has definitely been slightly but, remedied. But they yeah. still left lots of options to tinker and rig without drilling through your hull, without any major construction. You can do a lot of things to both of these boats. This one as well, but there's a lot of options you can add to this without too many uh, major Cool. Construction jobs. So, shall we? Uh, shall we talk about storage on these boats? So, where are you gonna? I don't. I don't fish with a whole lot of rods, but uh, I know. I know I'm not the norm. So, yeah. but I'm sure I'll acquire you'll, you'll an, get an awful lot more. I'll you'll get, get there. there. So, storage, storage on these boats. Uh, let's talk. Uh, let's talk the old town. So, well, I talked a bit about it. There's lots of storage in the back. Um, Put your black pack in here. My concern personally is getting at it easily when you're on the water. Somebody that's not as agile as you, maybe. Um, it's I definitely hope. long and it's got a high side. It's a deep. Yep. You can put a big lot storage of stuff yeah. back here, but and it's it's open too. This right? stern has a lot of volume as well, depending if how much yeah. weight you're putting. Of course, battery is also underneath the seat, but that does take that storage room away from you. This is in the high seating position, which I'm not really sure anybody would even use the low seating position on this, but you've got one little cubby, like spring-loaded cubby here on the side. Um, you got a fairly deep uh, deep spot here for a couple. Couple tackle trays. Couple tackle bags. trays, uh, maybe. And then they've tried to put in a couple slots here behind the, the foot braces, so. Uh, but there is no, I mean, there's a port here in the front to get access um, into the front of the hull, but not really any storage on this front. Maybe stick your um, raincoat in there, that'd be about it. Uh, well, it will uh, it won't stay there, <laughs> go back to the hull. So um, yeah, on Titan, um, Titan has a pretty fat bow, right? And uh, you've got, do you have that access storage when the propel is down and maybe you don't even take the propel they do offer a cover now for that so if you're not using the pedal drive for certain days you can just leave that out and pop that off it's here. pretty lightweight so you've got a nice yeah, clean area awesome. here which will make accessing that front hatch um, so you've got um, pretty ready to wire for your batteries in there you've got an extra little pod easy access into the front of the hull but you have a little bit of storage access without having to go behind you um, but just another place for your batteries and of course it's got that uh, ready to wire at the front yeah for your fish um, finders your battery's going to go there it's lots of places that not a fish finder it's uh, pretty well set up for that yeah, double tracks for for that big long i love their big long tracks i do too right yes. so you've got lots of space to to put while anything. i'm fishing i have stuff on the tracks all the way down the yeah, attack's got these great stack packs track uh, packs your seat sits fairly high um but uh, you've got under pull out tray same on the bonafide you've got a pull out tray um which is something when you're fishing, you use a lot. Yeah, there's a lot of space on either side yep. um, for additional boxes, or as you said, <clears throat> there's rod storage. Once so, you're laying your rods in there, there's lots yeah. of room. Stern is super wide. Like Massive. you can definitely fit a huge black pack and, and have extra room to spare. The biggest um, one, actually. Uh, extra little storage, act, really just an access two access compartments on either side if you ever need to get into your hull uh, for wiring or screwing. Um, nice scupper drains back here, which is big fat awesome. scupper blame drains. And then uh, on your Bonafide, yeah, the Bonafide has also that underseat tray that slides out. Um, it does have like a little turn knob on this track. It slides a little smoother um, with that lock-in position. You do have the little pods, which you can buy extra pods. Um, but if you're 
If you're one of those people that likes a super clean deck, you can take this right off and they do have mounting points here for a plate. Um, so, you know, yeah. different people either like the pod or not. I think that's um, listening to the community, definitely. I love exactly. all the aluminum track that they use yeah, it's, on it's bonafide stuff. Sure. So, um, paddle holder up in the bow. Um, and right here, big, big access port. No insert for it though. Uh, I'm sure they will have one. I'm yeah. sure that like, like in the SS 127, they have a drop in okay. option. Um, so, um, but you can put, you know, extra rods. It's the only one of the three that you can put rods yeah. uh, in your bow. And then I love their little latches. So if you click this close. in, you can flip these and you can open it. You know, so putting that rod storage That's in, a great touch. Yeah. slide it in, having those yeah. dual handles, really good. And then they're also doing the multiple ports here for your wiring, very well thought out. Let's talk um, rod storage. So while you're on the water. It's important to me. Yeah. So the nice thing about this one, it's got a couple of tubes on each side for rod tip protection more for when you're going to your fishing spot once you're on the spot fishing you might not have them stashed away but it's really nice to have especially if you're going down a river or a creek lots of overhanging branches you can stash them in there you're not busting your rod tips that's i get into that a lot where you're scrambling to put rods away yeah. that way they're out of the way they're not catching on things as you're going by and you, right? you had a lot of area in the side here with your Absolutely. rods to drop your reels um sure. to either side of that seat so the Old Town does have, so on the 10.5 Titan, you only have one of these sort of a forward face, forward, forward facing. rod, forward facing rod. Yeah. On the Old Town, you do have four of them. Um, and on the Titan 12, you have four of them as well. Yeah. Only one on the 10.5. This one's handy for when you're re-rigging your rod, putting a new bait on, getting a fish off. The rod stands straight up, easy to access, gets it out of your hands while you're fighting a fish. It's a, it's a really nice touch. So unfortunately not all, you know, not a whole lot of rod storage on this, but of course you've got all that space in the back yeah, for a black pack, rod racks and you're gonna have all your rods back, back there. If you, you can't have a lot of rods in the front with you at any one time, but that might be just the way I fish. Yeah. So, this, Bonafide, a couple of rod tip options, which is you nice. have two rod tip holders. Yeah. yeah. Lots of room to lay a few rods out and all the same options behind you. So comfort, that's uh next topic. Comfort. comfort. So I, uh, I did measure on all three boats. Okay. Um, the high seating position. So Bonafide, Bonafide is really known for their high seat uh, on their SS-127. Um, this setup is a little bit different. Uh, you have those yep. connectors here, but uh, 15 inches, Wow. Uh, 15 inch height seating position. It's um, easier to stand up for sure. Yeah, 10 and a half in the low position, same as uh, now, of course, there's only one position on the native, on the yep. Titan X, which is also 15 inches. So oh, okay. maybe the, the the guys at, at Big Adventures uh, sort of <laughs> found, have found that as the happy found medium. sweet spot. Yeah, yeah. the sweet spot. Now the Old Town, 12.5. Uh, so 12 and a half inches for its high seat position and then its low is the 10. Yep. Um, so see, I, see. I see this as a paddleable boat. Um, I, you know, I would go and take this out, paddle it to my destination. Um, I don't see that with the other two necessarily. This one doesn't so, look like a, as paddleable, but I, the reviews I'm hearing, it's quite paddle, paddle, paddleable. <laughs> it's very easy to paddle. I, I would <laughs> definitely, I would definitely prefer, I want I always want to be as oh, low yeah. to the water as, as possible. Yep. Yeah. Um, so I do like on 
this having that sort of low also low ten and a half seating position. Um, as for the seats, Bonafide's always been well known for comfort. I mean, definitely the seat looks, looks great. comfortable. It sure does. Uh, it's a very narrow. Um, Narrow backrest. Looks like it would fit your body for better some than, than, <laughs> than others. I like this uh, one. Look at that. Lots of width. 360 seat. It's nice and wide, obviously. Surprisingly yeah. comfortable. I have one now and I was shocked at how comfortable it is. It's surprisingly really good. That is like, going to be dry. If you get water oh, on that wet. seat covering, that's going to stay super dry. I keep most of it covered most of the time anyway. Yeah. It doesn't get wet. Yeah. So I have uh, I have not spent a whole time a whole lot of time in an old town, but you know most people um, with the PDLs and and uh, and their whole sportsman series seem to be pretty happy with the comfort level of that seat. Yeah, um, yeah I, I guess my only comment is you probably wouldn't use that in the lower, you know, almost ever in the lower seating position. No, so. Um, fishability. Fishability. A lot of that we kind of already talked about. I mean, fishability. To access, me, to everything. access to everything is important. Having room to put all your gear is important. The swivel seat, huge importance. It really works nice for fighting fish, getting gear out. I use it a lot. Um, really comfortable i'm sure this boat would be very similar because everything's kind of right here close at hand yeah i like the uh i like the access yep. on here i like the big deep tray i do too yeah. the seat um of course accessibility to the back stability i would yeah. say stability is going to be huge with this boat i i've i've been in an ss 127 it's applauded as being a phenomenal paddling boat, but also surprisingly stable. I Anybody who shocked. stands up in it is like, how does this boat being somewhat narrow, how is it so stable? Yeah, it feels and, narrow, and it, but I was shocked at how stable it was to yeah. paddle. It was really, really never once felt like it was gonna be tippy at all. And I see on this one, they've done uh, a fair number of scuppers. Of course, scuppers in your hull create more rigidity um, in that hull. So this looks really, really solid standing platform. Yep. Um, of course, the, the native is, is going to be the most width. And yep. I think it's obviously going to be the most stable of the three. Again, for a bigger fisherman, this is for standing up and fishing like I like to do. I'd be more comfortable in this one over this one, but that's everybody's a little different. You yeah. gotta get a boat that suits your body style and your fishing style. Well, I certainly, and I've certainly been in the old town before, and and you know, there's there's no question about stability in that boat. It's yeah. it's solid in, in pretty much any one. Legendary. Legendary. Yeah. <laughs> So I think one of the last things to address is transportability. These boats are not light. No, they are not. The Titan, I think, is 150 pounds. This one's 138, I believe. Okay. The big one's 100. And, no, this one's 158. The big, big one, the 12.5, is 172. Right. Which is pretty substantial. I think the. I mean, obviously the. The PWR wins here in the lightweight category. It's going yeah, to be your time. sort of 95 pound, uh, 95 pound boat. Um, the autopilot is definitely in the, you know, that 145 pound range. Yeah. Um, now with the, the propel, you're, you're, when you're taking propel or the seat off, um, if, if it's, I mean, none of these are being car topped, they're going in the back of the truck but you do have to get them to the water. Yeah. And one thing I'll definitely applaud is the sidekick system. Absolutely. So it's native, a game native and bonafide with their sidekick, having this wheel system that they've addressed exactly where to put it as far forward to the seat as possible. Um, it's just, it, it takes, 
takes transporting a big boat as the ultimate solution. Um, we always offer a, a good discount when people buy a sidekick because uh, we know you're not going to want to leave without a sidekick on one of these. I'll sports. never have another kayak without it. Yeah. So drop those wheels, take it in the back of the truck. It just changes just the ability to put it in the back of the truck. It makes yeah. a big difference. Um, the 10.5 Titan. And if you've got a smaller pickup truck for those guys with the Tacomas, like you can have that short box truck with yeah. that 10.5. It's the, sh you know, the shortest, yeah. but definitely comparable in volume with these other two. Um, and this is kind of a letdown on, for the old town is how do you get this big boat to the water? Um, have a friend, <laughs> have a friend, <laughs> have a friend who wants to stay on shore. No, it, there, there is solutions. The, the Akatak has their bunk style cart. That's going to be the best cart, I think, to transport this boat, yeah. but you do have to put it on and you do have to bring it back to your vehicle. Yeah. Whereas obviously sidekicks, you just pop them back up and you can also get a different wheel package so you can get a balloon set yeah. and get some sand wheels so if you're if you're uh, you know fishing in those kind of environments the beach fisherman the beach fisherman but uh but yeah that's uh carts definitely needed for all these three so overall value um all of these boats are pushing five grand pretty much. yeah Outf outfit right okay. you know your uh the old town actually sits right in the middle of these three wow. so with the titan you are about about a thousand dollars more and rigged with a uh with a 100 amp hour dakota lithium battery on the bonafide you're about a thousand dollars less of course with the titan you're getting a pedal drive you know, yeah. you've got that whole pedal drive option you don't get with the other two. Absolutely, it's worth a thousand dollars for that, pretty much. So, um, and the PWR, you don't have to do anything with. So, no, it's you know, pretty good just like that. You it's it's it. the least expensive of the three by you far. Start with that if you're not doing a power system right away. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So, as a paddler, my my favorite choice here, of course, is, yeah. is the PWR. Yeah. It's the narrowest of the three. Um, I have no trouble with the stability of standing. Um, there are times when I want one boat to do everything for me. Sure. And sometimes I would take that boat out with no, uh, I'd probably do the, the XI3 on the front. Uh, but sometimes I would be fishing places where I would not take that. And I like that fact of that boat of just being able to strip it down to a paddleable boat yeah. um and that's my as a kayaker first that's my uh, you know my preference on that boat. But, I, but i get but that i can definitely sure. if i've got to keep up with everybody else i've got to have that motor <laughs> yeah. uh to get to the other end of the lake right and paddling i like paddling but mine is fishing first so i would definitely be choosing this one the fish ability um, the places to store all my gear and I have way too much of it most days. This is my choice for sure. With the motor, motor option, the pedal drive would be great for fishing shallow water, round docks, you can maneuver real good, the rudder system works great. I mean, this is, this is how I would go just for the accessibility to all my gear and yeah. places to store it. I well, you got the big screen, so you got to have yeah i gotta be able to you gotta have it all gotta have it all yeah so those are the three offerings we have here at live outside yeah, three great in ones. the power uh three great ones we have yeah. a bunch of other boats we have many other options that can be rigged um with motors so sure. that's getting super popular so especially we have the with the newport motors coming that's uh, newport motors that's huge. Um, that's huge. there's also e-propulsion so we're looking at uh, a few e-propulsion models really um, and there's the whole you know outside of these these three brands we're also doing crescent so crescent has some cool skiffs yeah, some and great boats. lots of lots of cool things it's yeah. interesting to see all this e-motorization of kayaks out there it gets you further and farther 
get you more fish. Yeah. Thanks for spending the time with us today. Yeah, Check us out at liveoutside.ca and hope to see you on the water.